Hey girl, hey. Not me coming on this camera just talking like I've seen you guys in two weeks. Not me coming on here acting like <laughs> we've talked for two weeks. Yeah, not me acting like everything's okay. Not me, not me, no. <laughs> yeah guys, I'm sorry. Yep, not gonna lie to you, this is awkward. You know you did something wrong and you can't even like justify it? That's what's happening now. <laughs> that's, that's what's happening now. I'm trying to come back to you guys, act like nothing happened, but it did. It did. <laughs> no, but really you guys, it has been crazy. I really like to, or I really want to make videos that are helpful, that are entertaining. And um, everything that I was trying to plan, uh, I just, just don't want to make a video to make a video, right? So everything that I was trying to plan fell through. It started with the uh, the bag that I told you guys on my community page that wasn't going to come in, and then it went to my coach bag, my coach um, boots that I ordered again that I told you on my community page. It's been like three weeks, guys. I still haven't gotten those boots, um, and it's just everything. Nothing came in. The, the way I wanted the videos to go, it just didn't go. So honestly, I feel like at this point, um, as far as my videos go, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to film a few weeks in advance, maybe like two weeks, so that I don't have this big gap anymore, because I hate the gap, I hate not talking to you guys, I hate, like, I hate you guys cursing me out, because a lot of you guys were like, um, where are you, and you're right, I said I was going to be here on Wednesday and Sunday and I wasn't. So, <laughs> I feel you. Luckily, I did I did do a few things in this in these 2 weeks and I have been taking snippets of um Sorry, I'm trying to look not look at myself. <laughs> I have been taking snippets um of what I have been doing. And of course, you know, I love a good flashback child. So in this video, pretty much, I'm gonna be catching you up, showing you a few a few of my flashbacks. I did a lot, guys. <laughs> I did a lot and didn't realize we did so much in two weeks that I really wanna show you. Um, before we start, I wanna get cozy. I love a good cozy moment. I'm gonna go in the kitchen and make, I think it's called like a pot peppery, potpourri, peppery, <laughs> a pot potpourri, where you put apples and oranges and cinnamon and nutmeg and uh, it's a few different things. I'll show you in a minute when I do it. And you just boil it on a very low simmer to make your house, your apartment, wherever you like, live smell like fall and I love doing this. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. I'm gonna get a cup of tea and we're gonna talk. Let's talk. So it smells like absolute heaven in here. Fall vibes, you guys, fall vibes. Loving the way it smells. If you haven't tried this, you should totally try it. There's another one too that they do at Williams Sonoma. I might try that another time and show you guys that one too. It's just like a nice way to make you feel like really cozy. I love a good cozy vibe. Anyway, I'm about to do a flashback, obviously. Like I said, I love a good flashback, but um, I just wanna give you some content, some con text um okay so i watched a video and I'll, I'll explain more about it um in the flashback i watched a video where this little girl um had a wig on her mom <laughs> her mom put a wig on her for her birthday and it just hurt my feelings and made me feel so bad so i was like okay i need to start wearing my own hair so that 
little girls can see it's okay to have a you know puffy hair I hated seeing this little girl in a wig anyway I'll explain more in the video but I wanted to give you some context because as I look back at the footage I realize why I don't always wear my hair out I am really good at keeping it healthy I am very good at making sure that I've retained my length I am not good at styling it, and I've said this before. I did a braid out, and I don't think I used the correct, um, the correct products, even though that's what they said to use, um, and it didn't turn out right. And after I picked it out, I realized that um, my hair had no shape. You know I mean it's a good length, but it just shrinks, right? But th there's no shape to it. So anyway, I have a journey <laughs> on my hands where now that I know how to get some length. Um, I need to know how to style it um, so yeah what you see in the video is me trying very hard you also will see it see it in a shrunken state because this is how my hair looks without shrunk not in a shrunken state and um, and I really don't mind it being shrunk I just need some shape and I need for it not to look like a bird's nest um, I like a puff I like it puffy I just I need some I need some something I need something to happen anyway I'm gonna work on that um, and so now let me show you what we did hey girl hey so I am actually wearing my own hair today <laughs> shocker I usually don't well I usually put on my wig for many reasons if you're not new here you know that I struggle to do my own hair it's thick it's natural obviously and it's just a lot but anyway I decided to wear my own hair today and just like the shrinkage annoys me it's just I think it's pretty it's just dealing with it it's sometimes it's just easier just to throw on a wig but I do wear my hair my own hair today I actually um, was inspired to do so because I recently saw this video where there was a one-year-old and a five-year-old who their mom put them in a wig for their birthday and I think the beginning of school or something but one year old little girl wearing a wig and it just it broke my heart and to be honest with you it really made me upset for some reason little girls are attracted to me I could be walking down the street and they'll point to their moms or sitting down I mean they'll point to me and talk to their moms and say oh her dress is pretty for some reason little girls are always attracted to me and I just want to be able to show the little girls that are attracted to me or in my life in general that look like me <laughs> that their hair is beautiful so anyway I, I'm not gonna be wearing my hair all the time I just can't I'm trying to work out um, I have a lot of hair and for those people who say natural hair is not a lot no 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 your natural hair is not a lot mine is it's a lot to take care of um, I want them to see how that's beautiful and so sometimes I will especially during the fall um, be wearing my own hair so here you go in all of her glory well in some of her glory because she has shrunken already but Yes, not your girl. Anyway, you guys, yesterday we went to, crap, where did we go yesterday? What did we do yesterday? <laughs> you guys see what I mean about my hair? Like, okay, <laughs> I don't get it. How do I get this to look like this or this? You see, like, the definition in the first one, I've never been able to get. And the puffiness without the straightness in the second picture, I, that's what I really love, to be honest with you. I just, I don't get it. Is that a, is that a Bantu knot out? Is that a, is that a twist? Out? Like, what is that? Now, the picture, the, the second picture is, her hair is definitely longer than mine, but why can't I do that at my shorter length? Like, I don't don't get it I'm trying to play with my hair a little bit more before I do something too drastic because at this point I've been saying this for like a year <laughs> I'm I, I'm like to the edge of trying to heat train it and before I go that far I want to try something some different things to make sure that this that's what I want to do because um, to be honest with you I like straight hair but I prefer the second picture because that just looks so bombshell to me and I love a good bombshell moment not that straight hair can't um, because I love straight hair too but I feel like the second one is just I don't know I've had straight hair most of my life right so anyway guys what am I doing wrong let me know 
this just look this ain't it <laughs> what you see ain't it i was happy to have my hair out because i hate having a wig all the time but this ain't it so help help what did we do yesterday in during the day so yesterday we went to little island and we did this <laughs> going to go to someplace different I said it different for brunch so hopefully it's really good and we enjoy it and my hair hopefully my hair stays nice and puffy and big and doesn't shrink <laughs> and yeah let's see what this whole thing is about let's go delicious and so enjoyable it was the the restaurant's name was bistro leo i think it's connected to a hotel if again if you look for some place to eat brunch it was nice i had chat like live jazz it was a very nice experience the food was good really good so now that my belly is full <laughs> my belly full my grandmother would say we are going to go um to the met and look at the um fashion art um, the fashion art <laughs> look at the exhibit the fashion exhibit into the museum not only do you have to have your vaccination card your ID card but you also have to wear a mask the whole time so yeah you guys New York is not playing did y'all see that sign that thing said a 90 minute wait <laughs> to see the uh, fashion exhibit uh, yeah <laughs> we'll see about that So we decided to try and wait. And if I can't take any more, we're just gonna leave and look at the pictures online. But let's see how long it takes. why I don't wear <laughs> my hair out I got some serious shrinkage and it's just ah, it's, I can't do a braid out I'm not good with blowouts I mean with um, twist outs I just I'm annoyed I know that my hair is supposed to shrink that's just what natural hair does um, but my problem with shrinkage is that I'm gonna have to go back and detangle this which is like 
<laughs> oh my god, it's so annoying. So the exhibit at the Met was beautiful. Um, they did a really good job of incorporating um, everybody from American fashion. I mean, they had Oscar de la Renta to FUBU, which was just amazing. I was very pleased with the representation of all kinds of people. Um, I was just, it was just amazing. If you're here or you are visiting, it is a great exhibit to go look at. So now I am actually about to go into Sephora and get some fashion fair. What? <laughs> Who says fashion fair? My mom used to use fashion shit, fashion fair growing up. And it's actually the first foundation that I ever used. I must have been like, I don't know, I was young. And my mom used to have the fashion fair and everything she had, her lipstick, her, her eyeshadow, everything. I used to play in her makeup. If you didn't know that mom, now you know, sorry. <laughs> but, um, so it's like a flashback. They, the packaging looks different, but they do have the stick. I'm gonna go in there and get the, the fashion fair, get two things. I'm thinking about just a foundation stick and a lipstick, and then, yeah, come back to you. That was a really quick Sephora trip. I will show you guys what I got later. Um, I got, like I said, I got the stick lips, the stick lips. Like I got the stick foundation and a lipstick. And the foundation seems to be a really good match. I will try it when I get then, it. Then after all of that, we then went to see um, The Lion King. We used to go to Broadway Place fairly often. Um, and we just wanted to get back to it. We've never seen The Lion King. It was a really good price. The only problem was is that we had to wear our mask the whole time, um, which I'm not complaining about because I can't, I can't, I'm not messing with that child. <laughs> but um, yeah, we, we wore a mask and it was a beautiful show. If you ever get a chance to see The Lion King, you have to go see it, it's gorgeous. <laughs> to go see Cat Williams. So yeah, that show was very interesting. Some of it was funny, obviously. Some of it wasn't. Um, yeah, it was just a good experience. We have been really trying to get out in October. So guys, I'm about to go make this salad because um, I have been working out, trying to get my life right. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that I have been doing a little workout. Um, so go check that out. I'm gonna make the salad. I wanna make sure that I'm not eating bad while I'm working out because that doesn't make any sense. I have, and I still do have my cheat meal, which is usually on Sunday for Sunday brunch. I might have to stop doing that because <gasps> I don't know if that's slowing my progress down, but we shall see. Um, so yeah, let me go show you this salad I made because guys, it's so good. It's like, it's really good. It really is delicious. don't eat chicken but I could tell you that this salad 
would probably taste better with some nice grilled chicken. These are two things that I got from Fashion Fair. Oh my God, I don't know why that makes me so excited. Like some my mom used to use it. You see, it's been used. I got my makeup, my, <laughs> I got makeup on the makeup already, but I was playing with it. So this is the stick foundation and I used to use the stick foundation and I believe the, the one in the compact. Yeah, cause it was peach or pink or something like that. And by me, I mean the one, <laughs> what I used to steal from my mom. Anyway, this color is blessed bronze. Um, which matches pretty well. I am blessed and I am bronzed. <laughs> what I like about this is that I don't have to put foundation all over my face. This I can just use to cover the little things that I want to cover and maybe use a concealer on my eyes and I'm out the door. And then I got a lipstick which the packaging is so fabulous. The only thing that I had left was lace which is a decent nude for my complexion. However, I definitely needed um, a lip liner. So anyway guys, that is it. Um, that's my spiel. That's what I bought. That's what I did. I'm going to really try to keep this up every week. That might not be like very long. Hopefully I try to get like a 20 minute, 15, 20 minute video. Um, try to keep these things up guys, because you are right. Uh, I think it was Mia who was like, okay, you can't do that video, but you can at least come say hi. <laughs> You can at least come do a vlog and, and Mia, you're definitely you're definitely right. I I should have at least made a vlog. So I'm gonna try to keep you guys up to date. Um, because I wouldn't be a good friend if I didn't. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.